Hey guys, welcome back to the Enchanted Rose. If you're new here, my name is Emmeline, and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this make it pink, make it blue, ombre, cut crease, makeup tutorial inspired by the changing pink and blue dress from the classic Sleeping Beauty. Um, I was inspired by this picture that I saw on Instagram literally over a year ago. I screenshotted this um, on February 5th of last year. Um, the picture is by Chelsea underscore Gen Gentry, I think. I'll have her Instagram linked down below for you guys to check it out. But I saw this picture on her Instagram. Very inspired by the ombre effect of the dress. So I've been wanting to do this for literally over a year now and I'm finally getting to it. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this ombre cut crease makeup look, then keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so we are going to start off with the eyes today for this Sleeping Beauty cut crease makeup look ombre effect thing. So first I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with some concealer, then I'm going to blend it in with my beauty sponge and set it with some translucent powder. Now I'm going to be taking my Morphe and Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Mai from that palette on a big fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply that to the crease as a transition shade. Now I'm going to be taking my Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade palette by Colourpop and I'm going to take the shade Meriwether on a precision brush, I think you would call it, and I'm going to focus that shade on the outer crease. Now I'm going to go back into the Jeffree Star palette and I'm going to take the shade Mogul from the palette and I'm going to apply that to the middle of my crease and I'm going to make sure I blend it into the blue so they blend nice and seamlessly together. Now I'm going to go back in with Meriwether and I'm going to just deepen up the blue shade a little bit just because we lost a little bit of that pigment. So I want the pigment to come back and I'm going to be going back and forth between Meriwether and Mogul just to make sure that the colors pop as much as I want them. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Pink Fleet from the Jeffree palette and I'm going to start blending that into the purple shade and I'm going to bring that into my inner part of the lid kind of focusing it there and bringing it into the inner corner just a little bit. And then I'm just taking that big fluffy br blending brush from before and the shade Mai and blending out the edges. Now I'm taking my Chasing Rainbows eyeshadow palette by Colourpop and I'm taking the shade Bring It and I'm just going to apply that over the Meriwether shade from before just to kind of brighten up the blue a little bit because the Meriwether shade was a little bit too dark for my liking so this Bring It shade just lightened it up and brightened it up just a little bit. And now I'm going to take the concealer from before and I'm going to take a flat concealer brush and I'm going to start cutting the crease. Basically I'm just putting concealer on my lid and I'm bringing it up to my crease. It is a little bit messy, not the best at it, but I was definitely pleased with the turnout. And then after I blend in the concealer, I'm going to take the shade Lynn from the Jeffree Star palette just to set the concealer down. Now I'm going to take the shade 2 from the Jeffree palette and I'm going to apply that onto the lid where we cut the crease. Now I'm going to go back into the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette and I'm going to take the shade Not Playing and apply that onto the shade 2 from the Jeffree palette because I didn't think it gave me enough pigmentation that I wanted for the lid color. And now I'm going to go in with my Frozen 2 Elsa palette by ColourPop and I'm going to take the shade Gale. I know we're using a lot of palettes today, but I'm going to apply that shade onto my lid onto those other two colors that we put on just to add a little bit more pigment and purple to the look. And now we are all done with the eyeshadow for now. So now I'm just going to apply my foundation, concealer, and powder to my face and just blend it in with my beauty sponge and apply the powder with a big fluffy brush. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows like I would normally with my everyday eyebrow pencil. 
for blush, I'm going to be taking my Disney Designer Collection Enchanted Mirror Pressed Blush. This is the Belle Collection blush and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and then for highlight I'm going to take the Luna highlighter by Luna Cosmetics and I'm going to use the shade Electra. I'm also going to use the highlighter to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Now I'm just going to be taking some black liquid liner and I'm going to be lining my eyes and making some big thick wings. I think the wing really adds to the look and it just makes it look even more bold and makes my eyes bigger and make them pop. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. And then I'm just going to apply the three shades that we applied to the top of the lid onto the bottom lash line just to make the eyes look even bigger and make them pop more. And now I'm attempting to put on fake lashes. Sorry if these shots kind of look weird. This is my first time trying to put them on in a little bit. And I'm not really good at it and I still am not good at it. Um, but I do think the lashes kind of made the look look even better. So I put them on. Then the last step for this makeup look is the lips. So I'm taking the Disney Designer Collection uh, Luxe Liquid Lip by ColourPop in the shade Prince Charming. This is from the Cinderella bundle and I'm just applying that to my lips. And here we have it, our finished Makeup Pink, Makeup Blue, Ombre Cut Crease makeup look inspired by the changing colored dress from the Disney movie Sleeping Beauty. So that is it for this Sleeping Beauty makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more Disney videos from me. I post them every single Wednesday. Go and check out my social media so you can see more pictures of this makeup look and just to stay updated with my life and see some fun things that I do on there. And yeah, so I'm gonna go now and I will see you guys next week in another video. Bye everybody.